Martinez, a senior technical marketing engineer here at VMware. And today we're going to discuss how to repoint and reconfigure in a vSphere 6.0 environment, as well as how we're going to migrate uh, and upgrade to vSphere 6.5. So let's uh, take a look at the environment I have here. I have uh, an embedded uh, replicating uh, type topology uh, within the same SSO domain, multi-site. And what I want to do is, since this is considered deprecated, we want to make sure we get out of this deprecated topology into a supported topology before we even start our upgrade slash migration. So the first thing we're going to wind up doing is we are going to do what's called a repoint reconfigure using CM SSO util. And what that's going to do is when we deploy our external platform services controller, uh, we're going to run CMS util using the repoint reconfigure command. That is going to repoint the vCenter server to the external PSC. And then it is going to reconfigure it by removing and cleaning up the uh, embedded PSC. So now we have a nice supported external uh, deployment. We will do this uh, for every site that we have. So we're going to deploy a new platform services controller. We're going to repoint, and then we're going to go out and reconfigure. Deploy another one here, repoint, and reconfigure. PSCs replicate bidirectionally. Okay, so now we are external, we are in a supported uh, deployment model that will allow us to continue on with our upgrade slash migration. So since we are migrating, we are going to need a management box to run the migration tool from. So I'm going to have it right here. And the, the management box should be on a routable network that can talk to your PSCs and your vCenter servers. Uh, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to run the migration assistant here. Since this is a Windows PSC. Um, and based on that, it's going to go out and check to make, make certain that this PSC meets the, the Windows PSC meets the criteria for a migration. Uh, once that's done, we're going to come back to our management box and run the migration tool that's going to go out and talk to the migration assistant. Um, now the migration tool will do two things. Um, it's going to go out and stage one deploy a new appliance-based PSC. Stage two is it's going to go out after that and do the configuration and layer on the data, the identity of the PSC from the Windows source to the appliance. We're going to wind up doing the same thing for our, all our PSCs within our vSphere SSO domain. So we're going to run the migration assistant. Then we're going to go back and have the tool communicate out there. It's going to deploy out a new appliance-based PSC. PSCs talk to each other bidirectionally. And we're going to do, again, the same thing in all our uh, PSCs. So migration tool will come out here, talk to this guy. We're going to deploy, and it's going to automatically deploy a new PSC. And now all our PSCs are migrated from Windows-based to appliance-based 6.5 platform services controllers. Uh, the next step is we're going to go back and migrate slash upgrade our uh, Windows 
vCenter servers and VUM to appliances as well. Now keep in mind in 6.5, VUM no longer requires a separate Windows instance. It's actually included uh, with the appliance. So we can now actually migrate both of these at the same time and save ourselves a few Windows boxes. The first step is we are gonna run the migration assistant directly on the VUM server. If you try to run the migration assistant on the vCenter server, it's gonna go out and say, hey, I see that this VUM server is registered to me. Uh, no, you need to go back and run the migration assistant on VUM first uh, before you can run the migration assistant on the vCenter server. So we're gonna go out here, we're gonna run the migration assistant now on the vCenter server. Uh, once the criteria is met and everything is okay, the migration tool will talk to the migration assistant, pulling, copying that data, because one thing we don't do during a migration is we don't make any changes to any of the source uh, PSCs or vCenter servers in case of any issues, we have a very easy rollback plan. Uh, so now the migration tool will deploy a new uh, VCSA 6.5 appliance, which includes VUM as part of it. Uh, we will shut down the source machines, so VUM will be shut down, the VC will be shut down as we go through this process. So now we're gonna go and do the same thing here in Houston, run the migration assistant on VUM, run the migration assistant on our VC. Now the migration tool is gonna to talk to both of these guys, deploy a new VCSA 6.5 with VUM included because we're bringing over that data. And then it's going to, now we're gonna have these guys shut down because as part of the migration process, we are taking the identity of our source Windows vCenter or platform service controller and bringing it down to the appliance-based uh, machines. So as far as any other solutions concerned, it's the same old vCenter server. We have the FQDN IP address, the certificates, the UUID, which again is key uh, for any solution to communicate with the vCenter server appliance, uh, assuming that it's the same box as its uh, old source Windows box. Now we're gonna go back and run the same thing here in Palo Alto. Migration assistant on VUM first. Migration assistant on vCenter, go to our management box that has our migration tool that's on a routable network that can communicate to these guys. Um, and again, keep in mind my, my management uh, box, uh, can, I can have several different ones in different sites, however you have them laid out. But as long as it's on a routable network that can communicate to the boxes you're migrating, then you're fine. We're gonna deploy, as part of the migration tool, a new VCSA 6.5 with VUM service running and included. And now these guys are shut down. Keep in mind the shutdown will happen uh, after stage one. So stage one, we deploy the appliance. Stage two, we do the configuration. So. During that time, we're gonna be shutting down the source and then configuring and laying uh, the inventory configuration and uh, performance or historical data. If you choose to bring them, those are optional and can increase your migration time. If you wanna find out more about uh, migration times, we actually do have a KB out there that you can check out and run a script on your source machine to find out how long uh, the migration will uh, will take, potentially take, because it's an estimated migration time. So we've uh, now accomplished uh, a few things. We've basically gone from a deprecated type embedded replication uh, deployment to an external one using uh, CMSSO util to repoint and reconfigure. 
We've also gone from a vSphere 6.0 environment uh, and done a migration slash upgrade because we've gone from a Windows type deployment to an appliance based deployment so we can get all the nice features that are available in vSphere 6.5 like VCHA and uh, backup, native backup restore. Um, so now we've uh, upgraded, we've migrated, we can now uh, benefit from uh, this deployment type and we're supported. This concludes this video. Thanks for watching.